saya Nina. Hai, saya Nabila. Kami The Double N akan bawakan anda suara anak muda dari pelbagai latar belakang menerusi siri Borak Anak Muda menjelang pemetangan bajet 2023. Cadangan, pendapat, your opinion matters. Kita gerak sekarang. Borak Anak Muda bersama saya Nina Rosba dan kali ini kita akan membincangkan iaitu pembangunan wanita. Seperti yang anda tahu, seperti kebanyakan tradisi, peranan wanita dilihat iaitu terhad kepada memasak, membersih rumah, menjaga anak dan keluarga dan mereka jarang sekali terlibat dalam proses family decision making. Tapi keadaan dan situasi sudah berubah di mana kita menghadapi perubahan kedak pasaran yang dinamik di seluruh dunia dan wanita, terutama wanita memainkan peranan penting. Jadi persoalannya, adakah wanita-wanita ini mendapat akses ataupun pengiktirafan yang sama dari segi kenaikan pangkat ataupun mengutuai organisasi dan kita akan membincangkan lebih mengenai mengenai perkara ini bersama iaitu Francisca Luhong James iaitu Miss Universe Malaysia 2020. Hi Francisca, thank Hello. you for joining us so today. Nice How to are you? See you yeah? Really good. So nice to see you here. It's a nice place. <laughs> all yeah. right. So uh, Francisca, um, hmm. as we all know that um, what your opinion on this uh, bagaimana status taraf kaum wanita di Malaysia is there any gap on this uh, what's your opinion on this well in my opinion i'd say that well before we see there's a huge gap of women in Malaysia or uh, in the world as a whole tapi bagi saya jurang ini telah kurang for now as we can see like we can see a lot of women have been holding high position in organization in workplace you know for example we have our gabenum bank you know um, she have hold such a good position and also um, even our ketua hakim negara kan tun tengku maimun like she have shown that she is capable to also be a leader and that women is holding such a such a good you know i mean they they can actually be a leader and also can can make decision into helping the community helping the people so i'd say jurang tu makin berkurangan tapi at the same time i'd say that kalau jurang in terms of gaji for example we still can see a difference in it and but this thing have been um, pointed out in parliament i'd say for quite a few times so that is something that i'm quite happy to see tapi banyak sangat benda yang kita kena titik beratkan uh, dari segi Uh, jurang antara wanita and then in terms of jantina di Malaysia sekarang ni. Yeah. Okay. So uh, based on your perspective, uh, apakah industri ataupun sektor-sektor mm -hmm. uh, that needs more women participation and why? Sektor, I'd say maybe women in IT. So sekarang ni, you know, we are moving towards a more digitalization globally, right? And we can see that especially after pandemic, like women are not just there to be a mother you know to to do things as women as what you said earlier kan macam memasak lah and then just taking care of the children taking care of the family but they are also uh, memainkan peranan penting dalam pembangunan negara dalam pembangunan ekonomi negara juga mereka bukan saja mencari uh, menjaga uh, the children at home tapi diorang juga during pandemic you see that they actually uh, pencari rezeki juga and then they are also a teacher at home jadi, you tengok wanita ni dia punya, um, how to say, they have hold a lot of position in life. So, I'd say that, why I say IT is because when they do business, they can actually use IT and they orang tidak ketinggalan dalam dunia digitalization. Hmm. So, it's so important to, for women to be focused and knowing that they need to, you know, have this focus on, on understanding what is happening around the world that they can also use this initiative to voice out their issues that they are going through at home um, you know to use it in business platform to use it in so many ways so that kita ada that balance between men and women to to i mean mengembangkan economy to, to you know growth. to to grow the family you know mm -hmm. families and you know family affairs um, and also yeah as a whole for for the country yeah right. 
So basically, uh, it's it's a good movement yeah. uh, representing women. So can you share us uh, a little mm. bit more? Uh, apa objektif uh, mm -hmm. this initiative mm -hmm. and what are you trying to bring forward as a female rep well, representative? Well, you see, because of what I was holding my title and what I believe in, you know, because I've been following the Me Too movement, right? So it's all about women's rights and women reaching their goals, you know, their potential. Like, as I said earlier, you know, people always think, oh, women have an easy life. They get married, settle down. But I don't see it that way. Like, apart from that, they have their own goals also to achieve. They have like full capabilities. Women in Malaysia especially, I've met a lot of women who want to achieve their full potential. Tapi tidak ada platform untuk uh, pergi ke pesada dunia ataupun tidak ada platform untuk naik even in country. So I want to see women to grow and I use my voice and the platform as in why I actually develop women rise community i call it actually you know i don't like to call it as organization because i don't see myself just being a voice or representative mm -hmm. but i see myself as um, walking with them you know berjalan bersama mereka to reach our high potential into what can we do to develop what can we do what can we um, give back to the community we want to see our full potential of what can we make a change. Mm -hmm. We want to see different in uh, policy as well, you know, in, in, in politics. We want to see women in politics so that we can achieve um, women needs and mm -hmm. that, you know, the concerns that we have, mm -hmm. right? The issues that we have um, can be voiced out, out there. So we will have balance, you know, and that our country will be developed as, you know, other big countries as well true, true. that have a lot of, you know, women in politics. Yeah. Women plays a big important role yes. nowadays. Yeah. So, um, the big question is, uh -huh. kenapa you rasa penting untuk memperkasakan uh -huh. golongan wanita terutama dalam kalangan anak-anak muda ni? For me, it's as simple as understanding setiap manusia di dunia ni, they have a purpose. So for me, regardless of um, jantina kan, I'd say we all have um, capability to make a change. And the thing is, people always compare, you know, human being because of, uh, I'd say, jantina, jantina race, and whatever it is. So for me, try not to see it in, in that sense. Mm -hmm. Like all of us, we can create a difference. We can actually give back. So for me, it's as simple as I want to see women to, to be in a position where they can make a change, where they can create policy that, as I said, can create, um, uh, there's no stigma of, oh, men is, um, much, um, oh, for example, we, we're in the same working place, right? We hold the same position, but because men can do more and mm. women, you know, could do less. Um, and then the difference is that, oh, because she is um, a woman and she will need maternity we, leave. True. You know, for example, <laughs> maternity leave have been an issue as well. Yeah. So this thing shouldn't be an issue because women also, you need to understand women also uh, give back to community in yeah. terms of maternity leave. Well, she's giving life to the world, True. right? Yeah. So it shouldn't be a question. So that's the thing that I want to educate out there. Hmm. That's the thing why memperkasakan wanita itu adalah sangat penting. Supaya orang faham uh, kenapa pentingnya wanita dalam dunia ini. Mm -hmm. There's a reason. They give life and they should have paid for maternity mm. leave as well. So men understand, you know, um, kelebihan dan juga menolong wanita, uh, you know, in, in a way macam, you know, we, we understand what is our our reason to be here. And that's the thing that I, that's the reason why I voice out the issue of empowering women. Yeah. All right, that is a very interesting and inspiring story dan saya agak bangga kerana dapat mendengar kata-kata semangat uh, daripada Miss Universe Malaysia 2020 sendiri. Jadi banyak lagi perkongsian menarik yang akan uh, dibawakan oleh rakan penyampai saya Nabila Khalida. Jadi borak anak muda akan berhenti rehat seketika kembali selepas ini.
bertemu kembali kita dalam siri Borak Muda dengan tema permekasan wanita dan kebetulan kita berada di Fitness Sham Ampang the first female MMA studio in Malaysia dan kita punya guest juga pada ini ialah Francisca Lohong James um, Hi. Miss Universe Malaysia, sorry yes, about Miss Universe 20, Malaysia 2020. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for staying with yeah. me in this program. Sure. So uh, um, kita teruskan saja dengan uh, mm-hmm. perbincangan kita tentang budget. Uh-huh. So tadi you dah touch about Women Rise, your organisation, mm-hmm. your uh, community. Yeah. So uh, adakah uh, organisation lain yang you tahu in Malaysia, whether it NGOs ke kerajaan punya ke mm-hmm. yang you tahu yang you can share with uh, anak muda di luar sana? Well, there are a few NGOs yang saya tahu yang memperkasa kawan kita. You know, we also have you know our organization that also help women you know we have like women aids organization um, we have uh, girls for girls you know we have also um, lead up asia which is actually memperkasakan wanita in terms of you know um, building themselves which is by my national director um, but you know if, if you're talking about uh, organization that have been working to helping um, community in malaysia you know there's a lot of other ngos that uh, that you know the people out there should know yeah actually banyak kan but yeah, then banyak. women rise itself what are you mm-hmm. focusing ataupun what are you trying to bring towards uh, mm-hmm. women in Malaysia out there well as i mentioned earlier as well a uh, women rise is more of like a community group where i have grown and built with the women that i know in Malaysia in Sarawak as a whole actually it's about community ini saya build dekat Sarawak oh. and it's with my friends my fellow uh, friends girls that i have reached out mm-hmm. and that have gone through a lot of things in life and they want to share about what they have done you know what mm-hmm. they can bring back give back to the community jadi mm-hmm. uh, so that that is one of the few things that i have been working with the women in um, in malaysia so women rise ni adalah uh, sebenarnya dia macam um, a community group where we, where people reach out to us to ask for advice and because we are not um, in the power to mm-hmm. give any advice when it comes to for example domestic abuse or maybe like um, gap that is happening between men and you know there is the gigantina and all that mm-hmm. so we actually connect them to organization that can actually give them mm-hmm. a proper advice and also like proper counseling and, and whatnot lah mm-hmm. so that's what we can do yeah so uh, you act uh, as, as a middle person juga lah yeah sort of a kan? middle person mm-hmm. and also like membekasakan wanita dari segi pembangunan ekonomi you know and also like we promote entrepreneurs like mm-hmm. women uh, in Malaysia for instance like i've been working like women rise we did a travel log uh, oh. yeah before with craft tangan malaysia where i actually went to kelantan and the only you know a community that i have been you know uh, interviewing and asked about uh, their their journey in life and how they come to where they are right now is women women in kelantan who have done a lot of things like you know the women who actually built atap singora mm-hmm. and then women who um, also create all this you, they they provide all these very good quality products right tetapi dia orang tidak ada platform untuk um, you know to go big be it in malaysia ataupun di persada, di persada dunia so that are one of the things the small you know initiative that i can do to help women in malaysia so that is one of the few things that women rights have been working on to promote entrepreneurs uh, women entrepreneur in malaysia yeah. mm-hmm. but then with all these uh, these ngos with mm-hmm. all these initiatives uh, you um, you tahu kita tahu uh, ada uh-huh. peruntukan untuk pemerka, yeah. pemerkasaan wanita mm-hmm. ni tapi macam sejauh mana benda ni sangat membantu untuk kita Dari sebenarnya. segi peruntukan itu sebenarnya memang ada tapi mm-hmm. tidak cukup. Mm-hmm. Dia cuma memadai. Tetapi mungkin boleh diketengahkan lagi. Mungkin boleh dipertingkatkan lagi. Sebab benda ni it has been a problem for quite a while. Jadi benda ni kalau boleh dititik beratkan, diketengahkan lagi di budget uh, 2023 I'd say, mm-hmm. right? Hopefully. It is something that I would like to see. Um, it is something that I'm looking forward. Sebab saya rasa uh, kebanyakan wanita di Malaysia ni yang memang you know can be a potential great usahawan yang boleh help pembangunan uh, yang boleh menolong pembangunan ekonomi di Malaysia mereka ada pot- potential untuk menolong kita like Malaysia as a whole untuk membangun cuma platform tu tidak banyak jadi itu antara uh, antara bajet yang saya rasa kerajaan harus uh, titik beratkan hmm. ya yeah. but then uh, do you actually look forward uh, to budget every year I do, I do. I mean, before 
you know it's something yang saya dengar saja mm-hmm. tetapi saya saya macam how to say like once i get very into women empowerment right especially when i started uh, working i started uh, my uni time lah especially sebab saya realize yang even in terms of scholarship ke mm-hmm. ataupun kerja ke memang ada jurang tu yep. and i experienced mm-hmm. that myself really? masa saya you bekerja tu uh-huh. yeah which is um, you know as i said right w- were the same colleague tetapi perbezaan gaji adalah disebabkan of jantina sebab dia orang buat lagi banyak dari saya tapi saya rasa macam i've also contribute a lot mm-hmm. and I, that happens like 3 4 years ago but i think you know this issue should be voiced out more often supaya kita tidak lupa benda ni pernah berlaku kalau benda ni sudah uh, berkurangan jurang ni sudah berkurangan then we need to um, explore more potential of women what they can do to to help the you know the growth of economy in Malaysia so um, so yeah it is it is something that i look forward to budget 2023 ni memang something that i look forward to and i want to see uh, what they will actually put down untuk mem- uh, i mean what 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 budget they will put aside for uh, untuk memperkasakan wanita. wanita ya di Malaysia mm-hmm. ya macam dia di um, orang kata awareness ataupun mm-hmm. uh, um, apa this initiative mm-hmm. tak ramai orang tahu mungkin yeah. ataupun ada yang tahu NGO NGO ni tapi macam kadang-kadang um, dia orang tak tahu nak pilih mana yeah. there's there's too much of organizations yeah. and also initiatives but then how to choose which one in your opinion macam mm-hmm. okay semua pun ada berperkasa yeah. wanita but yeah. then which one nak, nak choose which one to join mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so this is the reason where you know benda ini harus dipromotkan lagi mm-hmm. by you know our government but mm-hmm. also it is something that we need to voice out like issues that we need to voice out for example um, you know we always heard about uh, domestic abuse for yes. example domestic mm-hmm. violence right um, and that happens quite often masa mm-hmm. pandemic mm-hmm. then they don't know where to go Of course we heard a lot about okay women aids organization and all that tetapi banyak talian yang dia orang macam call like they they try to call and they can't reach out but there's a lot of ways especially I would say I actually experience um, um, sort of this is quite personal but I experience uh, being abused myself and one of the things that I realized is that um, you we have all these online platforms like the women aids organization and all that but I'd say that Uh, banyak wanita di luar sana individu di, uh, individual like a lot of people out there they didn't know that they can also reach out to hospitals I'd say where they can actually help they can provide counseling they can provide therapy they thought like if they go to hospital they just um, you know for medical reports but they can actually help and this is the thing that I think tak ramai wanita di luar sana yang tahu tak ramai uh, even government pun tidak menitik beratkan benda ni like mm. they don't really expose this out there mm. and um, so i'd say uh, there's a lot of help out there yang kita harus um, highlight um, how to say um, more publicly mm-hmm. for for women out there mm-hmm. uh, but at the same time i also think that you know because of this uh, thing you, you've been asking about this and you know i've been mentioning about budget 2023 i think it is uh, i hope I hope that the government, uh, the government out there, will also provide um, akan membangunkan, menyediakan tempat uh, mungkin tempat pemulihan, tempat counselling yang lebih easy to access for women out there, not just in uh, KL macam tu, tapi like every state of Malaysia. Mm-hmm. I think it will help a lot. Yeah. Okay, yeah. itu dia perkongsian yang <laughs> sangat ringkas padat dan tepat daripada Francisca Luhong kepada uh, women di luar sana dan juga kerajaan as a whole lah. Macam-macam dah Francisca dah share, personal pun dia dah share. Yeah. So basically <laughs> apa yang diketengahkan ialah uh, easier access for women untuk cari pertolongan, bantuan yeah. uh, tak kisahlah uh, jenis siapa abuse ataupun masalah women yang di, dilalui. Mm-hmm. Jadi The, the the real question is the real uh, important thing is seek help jangan pendam seorang-seorang mm-hmm. baiklah itu saja untuk episod kali ini memperkasakan wanita uh, itu saja kita jumpa di episod akan datang uh, untuk saksikan episod ini boleh saksikan di astrawani.com dan uh, platform digital astrawani